Scissors, who's not had a very good start. Oh, a little bit of contact between himself and Dusan Morkovic. Sorry, but Nikola Bart. Kayas just about holds on to the car, and Nikola Bart loses the position uh, to Mato Homola there. Oh, Kayas into the wall, so there was more contact. Big old lock up, and ooh, okay. Well, that answers the question then. That was a big hit, and uh, nothing that Kayas could do there. The American and English driver, he's made contact with Christian Mansell on the outside. The Italian and the Australian, they touch, and we've got Carnage in the first corner. De Geris on the inside, we've got Mansell on the outside. Oh, wow. De Geris smack into the back of Louis Foster. The AM class in Hungary, this is the reason why they have ended their qualifying session just getting light as they got on the power too early to the pole. Two Italian supercars. The Ferrari of Benya Hitez and the Lamborghini of Brendan Leach up the inside the Kiwi trying to take the Chilean. Marco, he goes straight on and accelerates and we've got Gerhard Torreza down into the chicane. Leach, who was looking to go through into fourth place. The Kiwi goes straight ahead, locks up and we've got contact between the second BSR Lamborghini. Beneficiary of all that. Oh, <laughs> well, we weren't expecting that. That is, uh... That's on his outlap. As the cup cars have their own battle and we've lost car 100 for Benalbi Motorsport, Jakob Dwanicki and Jan Antoszewski. That is the number 54 who was leading the class earlier this race, being biffed around by the number 44. Jan Lorison going around. Joe Osborne going around. But the middle sector of the racetrack out of turn six. Oh, and contact, and somebody spun. I couldn't see who it was, and there was, well, bodywork, or oh, well, bits of body. You could see bits of car. Further contact, just like coming into turn. Is that oh, Alexander dear. West who's gone around? I think it was all down the inside. I mean, never in a month of Sundays, and it is a Sunday today, was that ever going to come off? That was the Bentley's for Barwell Motorsport back. Yeah. Oh, the contact with oh, the McLaren and second Lamborghini, and third. second and third, and almost run fast. How did Marcello manage to miss the McLaren? Surely there'll be contact here at this point. Robin Fry is going up the inside. Was there enough inside? Well, the simple answer is in the case of Ingerhot, no, there wasn't. And inside the three of them, the two of them is uh, Eddie Cheever minding oh, his own business. It's the, the car the, coming from behind. It's the 32 Audi. Audi. It's the 32 Audi. Oh dear, it's the 32. Come down, and this is the incident. Oh, it's with Gordon Shedden. They clashed at Thruxton, they've clashed again. Gordon was on the grass, it seemed, and Jade Edwards in the contact ends up in the gravel. Yellow flags, Carl Bordley is off the road as well, that's down at Cox Corner. Bordley, but we don't know, let's have another look. Mm. I think it was, I Andy, think Neat, it was Andy Neat, wasn't it? Well, he was certainly ahead of Rick Parfitt. Mm. Lap three now, there's drama there, look, because that is Sam Osborne off the road, and who's the other one? That is one of the car gods, BMWs, it's Tom Chilton. That was Turkington making contact, oh. and then Chilton goes across the front of Osborne. Yeah, oh. I think uh, Chilton moved across. Gaggle of cars, all dicing over fourth position, and David Morales tags the championship leader. What was it we said about luck and Sakazeta? He will be cursing me for saying that he was... He's on his way, and uh, Hamilton, they're now wheeling the car back into his guy. I think he's done some suspension damage. Just hit the wall, man. It's, it's still wet, and if you make any sort of error, this was far more serious for his teammate, Felipe Drogovic, lighting up the car. Ooh. Go unpunished, and that's a big old blow-up for Van der Helm. It is indeed. Tim and Van der Helm with the blow-up that might hurt his teammate's chances. He pulls off the road from the uh, cockpit of Martins and there was co there was big contact there. Yeah, that's Smolian. Who uh, started impressing and started to pick their way up the order, but alas, no finish there. And uh, yeah, down into turn one, <laughs> showing all the sponsors' names with that quick flick, just went down the inside line, not a chance. Skew right there, yeah. and he just can't make the corner. And let's see what happens with power. Does power come around and clip him? I, I, would, I would imagine he oh. did. Oh yeah, he did, oh. big time blind around there Harvey's in the tires and here comes Will on a quali bang two hard hits tuck back in behind the Bernard oh look at that Ed Jones oh. Oh. Makes contact with Pato. this is big for the championship Ed Jones 
Erickson fighting over the same piece of real estate. No contact. Erickson just gets wide. Yeah, nice. and Rossi, uh, very smart. Oh, it's a little, little argy bargy going on here. Turn That's on. Connor Daly. Daly has to take the overshoot, and Askew has to take the tires. Ugh. In this session, and that, of course, is the championship leader coming to this weekend. Another replay of that spin it was just like trying to take a wee bit too much speed into the hairpin. Yeah, absolutely. At the moment, uh, that was horrible looking incident for Ollie. He was defending into turn one super late. How late on the brakes? Well, too late. The side wall and the uh, and the tire wall on the exit of turn one pushed he'd had no one in front of him he turns in just didn't turn in that was the problem do you know tires branded tires oh hang on well the car barn audi was right there beside him that was the number 39 the green and yellow car with richard high stand was going across and got a tap ah squeezed the corvette number three into the scuderia corsa ferrari and came off the worst now i i, I actually thought that that uh look at this battle going on here as they're hiking up that left front man they fan out in the back and again oh big hit right there uh, we were just talking about him at still Haug. Then it was Robbie Gordon and Maddie tied up at 13. Maddie down to the inside of Stout. Oh, Hard man. contact oh, no. from Stout. Turns him over. Up on his side. And there's Bolamassa sliding. Yeah, flip rear tire, come off the car. Look how hard. Oh. Wow. That car was up in the air, hitting off the wall. That tire looks like it's still got the wheel in it, Steve. That's when you're just hoping it just slides enough to keep it from getting in the outside wall. But unfortunately, Chris went around and made contact. That, uh, that might not end his night. And Herzegar holds on to the high oh, sides. The 26 of oh. Ankerman and Chandler Smith. Playoff driver. Heavy damage to the left front. Oh. Haley D get involved. Chase Purdy as well. And there's Creed. And then watch. Smith tries to squeeze through the top. You just simply can't change directions running 180 miles an hour, Kurt. He had nowhere to go. He committed oh, to the man. top. Creed just, wow. That was a huge hit. Finished under caution, and it's because of uh, Tyler Hill in the 56 here. Got into the wall before, and you see the caution lights on, uh, before Eckes could cross the finish line. Here it all is right there. Four right there. Wide, comes five together. wide. Five wide, yeah. Nowhere to go. Josh Berry was stuck right in the middle of Nowhere to go. And that, you know, we talked about Jeremy Clemens, right? And that's yeah. the, the negative to starting in the back, but that's about where he was. Just comes around on him, Jeff. Yeah, just loose. I talked about that lateral grip. That's what it looks like when you don't have it. <laughs> it just, you know, nothing to lean on and just round it goes. Fortunately, it's all right there. Yeah, I can't tell who that is that yeah. got into him. Oh, no, wow. No. That is a fast crash. Oh, oh goodness that bike. It's Sabatucci, uh, who was clipped oh. by Perez Gonzalez. That's a real uh, unusual. The actual front wheel got jammed. Fired each other. Oh, Jackson is happy. Oh! Jackson, Jackson goes out. He got pushed oh. out there on the white line. Yeah, and he's not going to be happy with it. As he spins it out, wait for it. Oh, that is high side, and he did really, he's thrown him down the middle of the track, and he's looking back up the track already and gets off. Let's have a look. Yeah. Oh. The problem you got there is the track's dropping away, uh, and you have a little bit more grip mid-corner than you do as the track drops away from you. Well, Rouse actually close that back in. Oh, like big enough, big enough. You heard it. In the background, it's the 14 then of Tim Neve. A little look, you see on the left hand side of your picture, already he's already gone. lost it. Yeah. yeah, it's just just on that front brake, you've got so much of it. And uh, oh, Ben Watson! Off the side of the bike, just grabbed his foot pegs. I was about to say they're tied on points in the Netherlands and Great Britain.